Hello and welcome to The Justice Factor, coming to you live from Hyde Park, Johannesburg. The late President Nelson Mandela's former PA, Zelda Lehans, tweeted on Saturday that the ANC does not want whites in South Africa. Are South African race relations getting worse? Today I'm joined by Deputy Minister of Telecommunications, Kenny Wimkiese, activist Gillian Skirter and Head of Media and Public, uh, Public Affairs at the South African Institute of Race Relations, Lienke Statler, to discuss this and other issues. After that discussion, as usual, the winners and losers of the week. There are no winners this week, but two big losers. But first, we look at, we look at the upheavals at the Hawks Police Unit, and we ask whether Police Minister Natin, Natin Kleko actually had the authority to suspend Hawks boss Anwar Dramat. My guest to discuss this is legal researcher of the Helen Sussman Foundation, Christian Peters. Tris, welcome to the show. I, you've, you've brought this court action now against the minister. Why did you do it? Why do you feel it's necessary to stop him from suspending Anwar Dramat? Oh, good evening, Justice. Thanks for having me on your show. Um, in November last year, after four and a half, five year legal battle, the Helen Sussman Foundation, along with businessman Hugh Glenister, won in that a certain bit of legislation, being the SAPS Amendment Act, and in particular, Section 17DA2. Now, what makes this section so important is simply that that was the section that entitled the Minister of Police to go and suspend the national head of the Hawks without any parliamentary oversight as the minister deemed fit. Now, can I stop you there and ask you, the minister says, it's okay if that's what you say, he doesn't actually agree with you, uh, particularly on that particular piece of legislation. But he says, Anwar Dramat is a civil servant, I'm using the Public Service Act to do this. Um, unfortunately, the particular bit of legislation goes so far as to say that by no other means than by the provisions of that act, can the minister, or rather can parliament, allow the minister to suspend the national head of the Hawks? The, the, the allegations that he makes against Anwar Dramat and other senior police uh, uh, Hawks uh, members is that they, they renditioned uh, people to, um, to Zimbabwe where, uh, for example, two of those people he say he claims uh, were killed, were murdered, were his uh, words in the papers, by Zimbabwe police. Surely that's serious enough to warrant him taking some action. Well, firstly, the minister in his own court papers goes so far as to say that the allegations weren't concrete and that the people who have been portrayed as being guilty are in fact innocent. So from that point of view, the minister has himself said that they're innocent and the allegations don't fit. So why do you think the minister is doing all this? I think that perhaps the minister wasn't properly informed as to the reasons to which he could suspend the head of the Hawks. If you look at the history behind it, um, on the 9th of December last year, the national head of the Hawks was served with a provisional provisional uh, suspension mm. and that suspension was based on the provisions that had been deleted not more than a month before by the highest courts in the land when uh, the minister was alerted to the error uh, he then changed the grounds on which he suspended or rather changed the method and the process to that of the public service act and the sms handbook now you telling me is the helen Sussman foundation saying to us that the minister is essentially flouting the law uh, and, 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 and the law as, as examined and ruled upon by the Constitutional Court? We're simply saying that the process adopted by the minister is unlawful and that the Constitutional Court ruled that in order to suspend the national head of the Hawks, there has to be parliamentary oversight. Given the timing, and the nature in which this is done, it's clear that there was no parliamentary oversight. And as such, we maintain that the decision was unlawful. What are the implications of the minister having these powers and using them as he's using them now? Um, as, the, as I said, as the court ruled, uh, the minister doesn't have these powers to use. So the minister is in effect acting unlawfully when he goes so far as to suspend the national head of the Hawks. When the Pretoria High Court uh, delivers its judgment, I believe on Friday, 
and says, no, the Helen Suzman Foundation, you're wrong. The minister can go ahead and suspend Anwar Dramat. What are you going to do? I suspect we'd need to consult with our lawyers, but from a general point, I suspect the next platform we'd have to approach would be to appeal the decision. Christian Peters, thanks so much for your time. Thank you. After the break, we ask, is the idea of the Rainbow Nation over and out?